So this is a technical lecture and an introduction to the Morpheus rig, which is the rig we're going to use this week to animate the jump. Uh, and Morpheus is an excellent rig. He's free. He's by a very talented uh, modeler and rigger called Josh Burton, who's kindly uh, given this uh, rig to the world to animate with. And it's really, really good. Um, and uh, as the name suggests, you can change it extensively um, and make adjustments uh, to Morpheus so he can be endlessly uh, adapted and shifted. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to do is go and find him. So let's go to uh, Google and I'm going to type Morpheus Maya Rig and search and that should bring up uh, Josh's website. There it is, www.joshburton.com. So I'm going to click on that and uh, uh, we should go to his site. So there we go. Then you can see here on the image on his page how many, how shapeable Morpheus is uh, and how many adaptations can be made. So you should go ahead and have a read of this uh, and then download it. Um, uh, and I think you, you just click on here, this link, and then download it um, and save it to your desktop. And I suggest putting it in a rigs folder. And here it is on my desktop. It's I've got it in an assets folder. It's in assets, rigs, biped rigs, Morpheus. Uh, and there he is, Morpheus release candidate. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, uh, open that up, which in fact I've already done. Uh, and then once we've opened up the rig, uh, I'm actually going to uh, keep this window open uh, for now because we're going to need to copy these uh, textures, eye skin, eye shape and head texture. We're going to need all of that in a minute. The first thing we're going to do is, is create a project. So I'm going to go to File, Project Window, uh, and there it is. Uh, that's our current project. I've already created one, but in your case, you're going to go New, uh, Morpheus, underscore, Jump, and then click Accept. And then we're going to set to the project that we've created. So we're going to go Set Project, Morpheus Jump, there it is, and Set. Uh, and once you've done that, we want to go uh, back to the um, uh, uh, to the uh, folder where we first saved the rig, and I want you to copy these textures. So shift select them, right click, copy, and then make sure that you go into your project folder uh, and uh, save out those textures in the source images folder. So here's where we want to be. I'm in Documents, Maya, Projects, Morpheus Jump, Source Images. And you can see in the Source Images folder, I've pasted the various textures of Morpheus because we're going to have to, he comes in with some of his textures, uh, at least in the version I've got, uh, not um, uh, entirely uh, properly connected. You may have to reconnect some of the textures to his body. I'll show you what happens if we, if we try and render a frame using the... Um, uh, and it doesn't matter if it's Maya software or Mental Ray, uh, we're still not going to get um, those materials showing up. And it, there's a problem with the skin. Uh, it needs to be reconnected. But anyway, uh, the first thing to do when you, whenever you bring a new rig is, is explore the controls. Um, and uh, we should also go ahead and um, create a uh, shelf tab. Um, uh, I've actually already uh, created a, a tab here. I've got it called Morpheus and I've saved the root and the right foot and the left foot. But just in case you've forgotten how to do shelf tabs, you go to this little pointy down arrow here and you go new, click on new shelf. And then what you want to do is go through the rig uh, and select his controls. There's the uh, right shoulder control. Click on the um, script editor down there. Uh, select that little bit of script middle mouse, drag it into the shelf editor. Save it as a mill uh, and then click on the little pointy down arrow there and go to shelf editor and we'll call that right shoulder or right shoal for short because you only get five characters. Then I'm going to select his left shoulder and middle mouse drag, do the same thing, release, save it as a mill Pointy down arrow, shelf editor, and left shell. Save all shelves. Okay, so that's basically how you uh, build up a uh, series of shelf tabs. I highly recommend it. It makes animating much easier uh, if you if you work this way. 
because it helps you select things fast. Now, the first thing we want to do is grab Morpheus's root control. We could also select that up there and just relax it slightly because nobody stands bolt upright like this. Uh, I also want to grab the right foot and rotate it out slightly and grab the left foot and rotate that out slightly. So we're slightly taking the curse off the sort of pointy, the feet pointing directly forward. Um, actually, I've just set a keyframe there, which I probably don't want to do quite yet. I'm just going to Z that out. One thing we should do is set our timeline to frame one. We never animate at frame zero, always at frame one or frame 101. Uh, another thing is the grid is very, very small here. So I'm going to make the grid bigger. So let's go to display grid options box, click on that. And I'm going to make the grid 48 units with grid lines every 20 units. Apply and close. And now we've got a decent size grid. Um, it's useful having the, the Morpheus is a big model. So um, it helps us if we have a slightly bigger grid. OK, so let's also go to the right shoulder control and let's take his arm down slightly because it's 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 very, very stiff. Uh, and I'm just going to rotate it back a little bit. And then I'm going to go to his right arm control. And actually, I'm just going to double click on that control and reset it. Uh, I think I want to set that to local. So we'll just yeah, we want the um, the arm to be in local space because we actually only want to bend that arm in um, uh, in the Y rotation. You 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 try bending your arm like that, <laughs> you'll see why. So actually, these two channels here should really be locked off. So we can Control Select those two channels and then right click Lock Selected, and uh, that will. Uh, uh, lock off the X and Z rotations and so now all you can do is is rotate it like that. Now there are times, sometimes you might want to un unlock those values but for the most part not. Um, so all I'm going to do here is just relax this a little bit um, so that it's slightly less uh, stiff than it was before uh, because by default these things do come in very very stiff indeed. So uh, let's um, Let's rotate that arm back as well, hit the left arm. Let's just make sure we've got that left shoulder selected. And then we're going to do the same thing with that lower arm. Uh, and again, I'm going to control select X and Z, right click a lock selected. And then uh, are we in local? It looks like we are in local space this time. Yeah, OK. Um, so there we go. Um, actually, that's a bit too much. What we're trying to do is just make him, he just looks like he's a bit standing at attention at a parade ground, and we just want to take that off. Then I'm going to select these hand controls, and I'm going to animate the curl. What I'm doing here is middle mouse dragging over uh, the uh, window, having selected the curl in the channel there. So we select uh, that control there. Select curl up here and now middle mouse drag in the in the in the window and I'm take I'm 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 relaxing those fingers as well. So Morpheus and actually let's just relax that too slightly. So his hands are just slightly so he's starting to look more relaxed basically. Then having done that, let's go ahead and select his head control. Let's tilt his head a little bit forward, maybe even move it a little bit forward, because people actually don't tend to uh, stand completely straight. And we could even, uh, we could even, so if I select this control here uh, and then slightly rotate this forward like that, I'm going to give him a bit more of a slouch, which is actually much more normal. Most people do slouch slightly, very few of us actually stand bolt upright. Um, okay, so and it's not I'm not really trying to pose Morpheus here. I'm just trying to make him feel a bit less rigid. Um, so uh, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So let's go to File, Save Scene As, and I've already saved uh, a, ver a first version there. Uh, but go ahead and save that as version one. 
um, now that and then every time you open up Morpheus again you will already have him saved so the next thing to do I'm just gonna close out that tool is let's take another uh, snapshot uh, another render view and you can see we've got these problems with the skin textures so what we want to do is go into the um, uh, the hypershade so window rendering editors hypershade open that up and now you can see here all of the textures you can see what's the, the ones that are black are basically where we've got problems that means that the textures have become disconnected uh, from the materials so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, and this this one here is the skin um, uh, uh, node so I'm going to double click on that and minimize that and now here under overall color I'm just going to click on this little arrow here which should find the texture and there it is so that's what it's looking for it's looking for source images hex head texture light dot png so I'm gonna click on the little folder and now I'm gonna go into skin and there it is head texture light dot png so I click on that uh, and and you can you can also uh, you can make him light or darker you can make him olive skinned or dark skin whatever you want it doesn't have to be the way he is uh, open and there we go now the texture is coming in so now if I hit render I should be we should be rendering skin out now good no eyes as you can see so we've got to do something about the eyes so I'm going to go back into the hypershade window rendering editors hypershade uh, and let's go to eyes sg1 fong okay that's a fong uh, minimize the hypershade and let's go to color and there we, okay so it's now looking for green eye dot png again click the little folder I'm gonna go up one eyes whoops blue eyes brown eyes oh I didn't want brown eyes I want green eyes okay hit render let's see if we've got eyes yes okay so now we've got the textures working now Morpheus is actually uh, starting to become a usable rig so I'm going to go ahead and save that again file save scene as save that as Morpheus jump version 2 now that I've done that um, let's just the, the 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 last remaining thing is to go through the rig and start to find all the controls that you're going to lose use I should say in general with most rigs you want to use a minimum the minimum number of controls you can get away with I'll just show you a few uh, that you'll need uh, this is the control that animates his eye direction very useful control uh, but you want to you want to animate as few as possible and whenever you animate on a control make sure you remember it um, so you're gonna you're gonna animate his head control you will want that so we should actually create a little tab for that uh, and uh, middle mouse drag that save it as a mel pointy down arrow shelf editor neck and save um, and you know you will you will find that um, if you animate lots of these controls you will basically lose track as you animate so I would recommend either use that um, chest control or this one. Oh, actually this is a looks like this is an offset um, so you're gonna want chest actually um, let's middle mouse drag that chest is an important one pointy down arrow shelf editor it says spine so let's call it stick to their naming convention um, uh, but I'll leave you to explore these uh, there's a bunch of them and there are more things on the world control there if you go to the world control and then to the channel box there's various um, things that you can turn on and off so I'll leave you to go through this if you change these values from 0 to 1 you'll see it turns on on and off various um, various controls but I'm going to leave you to explore but basically what you want to do is just have the main controls the root control the right foot the left foot the shoulders uh, the lower arm the lower arm here also the hand uh, the head and the chest and that's probably enough to animate our uh, our jump so um, go ahead and get Morpheus set up and then uh, watch the uh, jump video tutorial